Hi, good morning. Good morning. I was uh, blessed also, like you, um, to uh, be singing and clapping and probably dancing uh, during our praise and worship time. Um, I am going to uh, use my eyeglasses <laughs> so I can see people from afar. First, I'm surprised because Pastor Beda, Bishop Beda Robles was speaking in English. Therefore, I need to know if, if I really need to speak in English entirely or just partial. Okay, mukhang partial po, ano? <laughs> Pinawisan ako kayo, ba't kaya nag-English si Pastor? Hayo kong ganun. Anyway, um, if there's anyone po that uh, needs to... Oh, okay, okay. I give the obligation to the one seated beside you to translate whenever I do a uh, whenever I do a Filipino joke. Okay. Anyway, praise God for for all of you. Uh, praise God for being here. It's been 10 years actually. A couple of days back, I was with uh, Brother Dave, Pastor Dave already um, in Starbucks. We were trying to squeeze in the 10 years that we missed into just one cup of coffee. So imagine that it's too hard, it's too difficult. And to see uh, a lot of you, Sister Ga, <laughs> uh, and many more, no? So, um, di namin kayo, di ko na kayo may isa -isa. By the way, uh, Pastor Beda, thank you, Bishop, for inviting me here. And at the same time, it's actually Pastor Charles who's speaking in Alcor uh, as we speak right now. Um, and uh, believe it or not, there are many other churches who are gathering together today. In fact, since last night, no, gathering together today to uh, share the message of the Lord in different colors, in different sizes, in different passages. So why don't we all pray to the Lord and commit every churches, no matter how big, no matter how small, no matter where they are uh, here in this part of the world. So can we just close our eyes and bow our heads? Father, we thank you today because even in this place, you still give us the freedom to worship you. Thank you, Father, for giving us a great time, Lord, and space and the fellowship, Lord, that we have among each other, with each other. Father, we commit to you the rest of the other churches who are also gathered in your name that you would continue to speak to each one of them, Lord, the message deliverer. Humble us, Lord. Um, we are just but your deliverer of your message. Kami po ay mga talabat, kami po ay mga rider, mga pataga-deliver ng inyong message. So, we hide ourselves, Lord, behind you. May your words be true today to speak to us in individual hearts and bless your preachers in different parts of this world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Ayan. Thank you very much. No? Um, I was given the I was shared to have the theme for the month. So it's one God, one hope, one faith. Ano po? Um, do any one of you eat in one plate? Still, some of you, maybe? Couples? Can I see the hands of couples here? And couples. Couples. Yung mga walang ka-couple, pero you have your couple at in, in, back in the Philippines. Ayan. Aminin na po, ha? Aminin, hindi po single dito, uh, couple pa rin kayo, malayo lang yung ano. So, I would like to, uh, to you to see my kids. My wife is still flying at Qatar, in with Qatar Airways, kaya wala po siya dito. But these are my kids, so stand up. Ayan. That's Pierre and Annika, um, 25 and 13. Ayan. When we left po Qatar, that was 2014, but we actually left QEC 2013, no? So it took like a year after. Mga maliliit pa po yan, yan. Cute-cute pa po, yan. Ngayon, ano na, di na masyado cute. Ayan. So, nakakamiss po. Um, one of the first things I observed is when I enter, Pastor Clint, yan. One of the things that I observed when I enter, aside from yung baha, ano po, aside from the baha last night, was uh, pagpasok ko, ano kagad, you know, we're so prepared. Nilagyan kagad ako ng ganito, ng mic, etc. And uh, the second one was, 
Hindi na po monoblock yung ating upuan. <laughs> Oo. Medyo mahirap ng ano, mabigat na siguro, no? Um, just very quick background, di ko ma... Ang hirap kasi pagka yung 10 years, <laughs> sumusabihin lahat sa isang ano, no? sa isang kape. But um, I, for one, uh, experience serving the Lord in many... Hindi lang po sa pulpit, no? I've been uh, with... Brother Roy, pastor na ba si Brother Roy? <laughs> I think like, all of them are pastors already. But I went, I, I've been in the uh, ministry where, were you guys there behind doing the tech and electronic stuffs, been in the praise and worship. Uh, one of my favorite actually, yung tumakas, eh, which is yung driver ng um, transport. No? And talagang hinahataw po namin yung Starex dati, no? yung mga ano, kung kanin-kanino mga sasakyan. Um, and uh, we cleaned the church also, uh, pati banyo, you know, and all. So, if you haven't tried serving the Lord, and daming opportunities. So many opportunities talaga. And whatever that would be, if the Lord is in your heart, you're serving the King of Kings. Shall we start? A study in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 2 to 3, but your verse uh, for the whole month is actually Ephesians 3 to 5, right? So we're going to do a notch earlier, a uh, few verses earlier. That would be Ephesians chapter 4, 2, to, 2 and 3 lang naman. Just one or two verses. So, ayan. Uh, okay. Tama. So the title for today, uh, with within still the theme of uh, unity, uh, one God, one faith, one hope, uh, would still be in the same passage. But today, the title would be Unity, Gentle or Gentleness, Selfless, and Prayerful. BSP. And so, first in mind concept. No? First in mind concept. Ano yung unang, that's your responsibility now. Ano, ano yung unang pumapasok sa isip ninyo kapag nakikita nyo ito? Just do it. Oh, sure ha, hindi Adidas ha. Okay, hindi Under Armour. Just do it. Nike, kahit hindi mo na sabihin yung brand. Yan. Happiest place on earth. Let's go to America. Disneyland. Sino dito yung naka-Disneyland na po? Kahit Hong Kong. Ayan. Ayan. Enchanted Kingdom. Ayan. Hindi nyo po naabutan yung Aladdin's Kingdom, no, Bishop? Yung Aladdin's Kingdom. O, oh, bata pa yon yung aking 25 years old. Was, maliit pa siya. Tapos, pag napunta kami doon, siya lang po yung bata. <laughs> Nahap namin si Aladdin, wala talaga. Happiest place on earth is Disneyland. The next, we find ways. Ayan. Pakijikash na lang po sa akin. <laughs> so, BDO, first in mind, no? no? Uh, next, even our country has a slogan, first in mind. Naging issue pa nga, no? When this was replaced with love, Philipp- love the Philippines, right? So it's more fun in the Philippines. Ang brand na pinopromote natin is Philippines. The next one, eto po, I call on the older ones. Older ones, uh, 40s. 40s. <laughs> Ayan, na nabuking na yung mga edad. Nasa na yung mga nasa likod nagtatago diyan. Ayan, hindi lang pang-pamilya. Ano ito? <laughs> okay. Ayan. So, alcohol lang, no? Um, ito, wala pa ring tatalo sa Oh, wow. Oh, Hinebra. <laughs> Wala pa rin natalo sa Hinebra. Okay. So, let's go to uh, one more, maybe, I think. I forgot kung ano nang... Okay. Oh, that, that's actually the last, no? Um, so, wala pa rin natalo sa Alaska. First thing in mind. That's actually the idea. So, let's keep to that. We're, we're going to this part of experiential beings. Pastor Dave and I were had a great time squeezing 10 years into one cup of coffee sa Starbucks. Ay, hibuiskus ti pala yung sa akin, ikaw pala yung kape. So I had a longer time drinking than him. But we were talking about life, you know, in general and, and stuffs that we missed for the past 10 years, no? 
uh, we are experiential beings. We tend to recall things based on experience rather than what was said. You know, so it's important really to come into church and experience each other. Experience God's presence. That could, because yun yung marirecall po ninyo. Not the things that were said here in the pulpit. Chances are, in a couple of, ilang Starbucks lang ito, ilang Disneyland lang ninyo, makakalimutan nyo na yung sinabi ko. Your responsibility. To... No, really, chances are. Last week, what was the message about? Sino yung nakakaalala ng message last week? See, I told you. <laughs> and that's exactly... Probably, and I hope not, you know, if for those who are taking notes, um, it would be nice for you to do that para hindi mo makalimutan. But we are people who can mostly easily recall things based on experience. Nakapunta na ba kayo sa isang restaurant na, mm, mabaho dyan? Yeah, because you experience. <laughs> hindi yung parang sabi niya, mabaho daw doon. No, you yourself experience it. You know, if you go to a place if you uh, patronize a product, if you went to a salon, you know, if you went to a place, it's actually mostly an experience that you'll come back or not come back. Diba? We are experiential beings. So we're based on that. So, based on the popular slogans that you know, based on knowing that people like you and me are experiential beings, we tend to remember things based on experience, Let's read the passage of, ayan. So, nasa intro pa lang pala tayo. <laughs> Sorry. So, the remarkable Christian character or the distinguished um, character of a Christian, let's talk about that. Okay? Let's read Ephesians chapter 4, verse 2 to 3, and the NIV version. It says there, be completely humble. And gentle, be patient, bearing one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit, that's capital S, through the bond of peace. And what are Christians known today? I'll backtrack a bit. Christians are, were known before that they were... Z- Full of zeal, you know, super committed. Sino dito yung first thing in mind ninyo when it comes to QEC uh, worker na talagang super masipag sa gawain ng Panginoon? Na- name names. Okay, Maya, walang mali. <laughs> Sino dito yung pinakamasipag na kilala yung QEC worker? Ah! <laughs> Marami yan. Oh, bukod kay Brother Jekyll. Ayan, bukod kay Brother Jekyll. Sino pa? Roy, yan. Pastor Abner, oh. Ayan, sino yung malakas kumain? You have to translate, ha? Malakas kumain, taas ang kamay. Ako, dati po, malakas kumain. Kung nakita niyo yung picture ko nung ano, mataba po talaga ako. I mean, lahat naman po siguro tayo dito sa Qatar, no? When we... Kaya dapat po, before you left the Philippines, nagtimbang kayo. <laughs> Kasi natural yun. Kapag natingin dito, talagang lalakas po tayo kumain. Anyway, first thing in mind. Back in time, Christians were known for they were committed, they were zealous, even to the point of death. Even to the point of death. No? Um, they were so generous. I think we, we, we know about that. They were martyrs and they were committed to the Great Commission. Okay? So, what are Christians known today? Wag po natin ilimit lang sa Doha, no? What are Christians known today in general? Could be TikTokers? Are Christians known today as bashers? <laughs> like the rest? Are Christians known today as complainers? Are Christians known today as impatient? Are Christians known today as and so on and so forth. But not all. Wag naman nating lahatin, ano? Some good traits that we can talk about 
and identify what Christians are known today. Yun po yung pag-uusapan natin today. So, the early Christians or the early churches were known for as they were prayerful. In fact, Ephesians, what was written by Paul, inside the, I'm sure nat- natalakay nyo na ito, inside the prison. You know, he was writing. Imagine, no? may, may tablet pala doon si Apostle Paul sa loob ng kulungan. You know? He can write. So may mga prisoner privileges, you know, so to speak. Pwede palang magsulat. Okay. In Acts chapter 2, verses 44 to 45, in New King, King James Version, it says, Now all who believed were together and had all things in common, sold their possessions. In other translations, it's, they say, um, sold their properties. Sino yung nakabili na po ng condo and uh, mga bahay at lupa sa Pinas? You know, nagsistart ng mag-ipon para pag-uwi. Ito yung gagawin po ninyo. Ito yung titirahan ninyo. Ito yung pinag-iipunan natin ngayon. Wala, okay, sino po yung kahit anong tanong ko hindi magtataas ng kamay? Taas ang kamay. Okay, dami natin. Sold their possessions and goods. So, nag, uh, anong tawag doon? Yung online selling. Nag-online selling po sila. And divided them among all as anyone had need. This is a true experience. Sabi na sa inyo, experiential beings po tayo. Eh. When I was still serving the Lord in QEC, couple of, more than a date, decade ago, um, we actually did this, no? Bishop Beda. Um, we had a lot of, uh, actually, hindi nga po sila church um, goers sa QEC, but we learned about their ordeal, and we knew that we had to quickly gather our resources. Ambagan po kami, you know, it starts from 10 reals. May mga nagbebenta, you know, ng mga, mga gamit, and so on. And then we help each other, um, especially ito yung mga, yung mga uh, kababayan po natin na talaga mga nangailangan. Some of them are actually uh, had problems that not are financially connected. Yun ang mas mabilis nating matulungan, no? Basta hindi pera, madaling matulungan. But pag may kinailangan sa pera, what we do, what we do, I, I'm, I'm sure you're still doing it. No? Pag may nakarinig po kayo ng nasalanta and all that stuff, um, pinauwi, tapos yung uh, walang, uh, walang, walang, hindi binigyan ng salary and all that, so nagaambagan po tayo. This is actually the same thing what they were doing back in the early churches. Back in the early churches. They were selling their lands. They were selling their properties. And goods, no? And goods. And that includes um, their golds, you know, mga properties nila, uh, whatever possessions they have. They sell it and then they divide these among themselves. Minsan isipin natin, no? Paano kaya namin gagawin ito ngayon sa aming panahon? <laughs> Ang hirap. Kaya ka nga nandito sa Qatar, di ba? Parang ako, couple of years back, we were here to save money, you know, and, and invest that money so that merong kaming uh, future. You know, this is what we're here for, you know? But the Lord has led you here not just to do that. It's for you to know Him as your Savior and Lord. He has other plans. We have other plans, so to speak. But God has other plans. In fact, his plans, if you will allow him, will supersede your plans and make it even better. And make it even better. So, the Christians in the early days were like this. First in mind na mga non-believers, ah, ito yung grabe tumulong sa isa't isa. Ito yung pag may nangangailangan all out yan, support yan, you know, they are in one because they have one God, one hope, and one faith. And that calls for one single action is to be united. I know, most likely, you have what in your mind right now, nag-iisip na kayo ng mga something that you can relate to about this. Maybe you know someone who in need, pero ikaw hindi ka um, 
capable of helping that person or that group, maybe, of helping on your own. So, come to the church and ask for help. And maraming tutulong. Alam, I'm not sure kung alam po ninyo tong true story na to. Uh, because I've been here and I asked some of my Arab friends, if you, dare ko lang, ano, they dare ko lang kayo, if you happen to go into one of your Arab friends' home, sa bahay nila, and uh, you stay, uh, you sasabihin niyo sa kanila, I'm, I'm gonna stay here in your home. You know what they're going to do? They will let you in. No questions asked for straight three days. This is a culture. Okay, try it. <laughs> Try it, and you will have uh, Arabic experience, experiential being. Within the Arab world, within the Arab culture, for three straight days, they will let you in. Bibigyan ka nila ng uh, pagkain, kahit ng uh, beddings mo, you know. I'm sure, naka-aircon ka rin. They will take care of you, no questions asked. They will feed you, and they will probably even... Um, bring you to their dining area and you will eat with them. As like any, you're, you will not be a stranger. But on the third day, saka pa lang sila pwede magtanong, bakit ka ba nandito? Yeah, muskela. <laughs> on the third day pa lang. You know, that's their culture. Paano kaya sa ating mga Pilipino, no? Sa atin, wala sila. Paubos na yung pagkain natin, pag may dumating, kain kayo, pero wala ka nang maibigay, no? Kasi alam naman natin na tatanggi. Yun lang, yung mga grupo namin, yung mga hindi tumatanggi. Yun, hindi kaya, yun. Anyway, <laughs> Arab hospitality says that um, after three, uh, three, within three days, no questions asked. Um, and they will, that, that's actually, those are the things that they were known for. Kaya there are stories in the Bible that you will encounter, especially like in the Old Testament maybe. Um, merong mga strangers no, na dumarating and pinapatuloy sila. We, I know that your smartphones has a lot of app. Tayo today, we also have an app. No? So, A, anticipate diversity. In unity, let's anticipate diversity. Diversity means um, we're coming in from different background. No? Yung iba, uh, taga Bicol. Yung iba naman, taga Pangasinan. You know? Magkakaiba ang ating kultura, magkakaiba rin ang ating mga upbringing. So when we come together and deal with something, deal with one thing, we're coming in from different backgrounds. So meron tayong different take on different things. That's where a clash of ideas come in. That's where unity will be tested. Are you going to be united? I'm sure you're talking about Uh, you're probably thinking about your unity with your husband, no? with your wife. That's impossible! But that's something, if it's another thing when you talk about the unity in the church, when you're coming in from different backgrounds, uh, different conditions, different situations, different upbringings, different mindset. You know? Um, pag pinagsama mo sa isang room yung gumraduate ng UP, sa gumraduate ng Ateneo or Lasal, or whatever, magkaiba yan, you know, magkaiba. So, when you deal with something, unity will be tested. Today, I would like you to look at anticipating diversity. And diversity is one of those gifts that God gave us. Kanina, sa praise and worship team, one is leading, merong backup, merong nagigitara, there's lead, rhythm, drums, you know, and there's even people behind it. That's diversity. And diversity is like a harmony. Marami, like an orchestra. Marami tumutugtog. Each one plays different roles, but all together, in one song, in one pieza, they form a masterpiece, you know? A very nice song. So that's how anticipating diversity comes to play. The second one is P. Pray for and with each other. Back in time, we had a prayer partner system. You know, we know that hindi kami magiging strong or magiging effective. Ang partner prayer ko nun, si Brother Roy. You know, kaya ang tawagan namin ngayon, since then, until now, partner. Kasi prayer partner kami. I hope you will have that too. Kasi we cannot 
um, be on our own. It will be difficult, really, to live the life na kapag alone lang tayo, no? So, pray for and with each other. Pray for and with each other. The last P for the app is pursue and endure one another. Ay, nako. Talagang dito lalabas po, lalo na pag matagal na yung relationships natin within the church. Maglalabasa na yan, no? Yung mga personalities natin, yung mga characters natin, yung mga ugali natin, no? Yung iba, nahihiya pa sa una yan, tatago pa niya yung kanyang pag- pagiging malakas kumain, you know? Pero actually, malakas pala kumain. So, yung tiyong yung lalabas yun, ha? Dati mahina ka kumain, ngayon malakas ka kumain. Anyway, that's a joke, but... We have to pursue and endure one another. Pursuing is actually pa- uh, active. Enduring is actually passive. So pursuing is going to. Going to. When I came here and Brother Dave learned that I'm here, he pursued me. Quit him. Let's meet. Diba? He pursued me, then rather I pursued him. So this is part of the unity of the body of Christ. He pursued me. And I couldn't say no to that. Libre Starbucks eh. Oh. On that side note, thank you, Brother Dave, for that, Pastor Dave, for, for, for pursuing me because it shows unity within the body of Christ. Pursue one another. How are you? I have not, I've been seeing you here for the longest period of time, but I'm going to spend time with you. How are you? Can I pray for you? Can I sit beside you? Do you have anything to say? Pursue one another. This is part of the unity. It's not like passive na, oh, it's church time again, praise and worship, and then eat, and then bye. That's it. No, pursue each other. Know each other and pray for each other. That's part of the unity. This is a closing challenge so that, um, sorry, can I ask? The countdown is like 25 minutes left. Oh, okay. I planned for a six-minute um, message. I'm just, I'm just kidding. Back in the days of the early churches, it says here in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1, to, yeah, verse 1, we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witness. So dati pa lang may tablet na, Okay. Si Moses, may tablet. Downloaded from the cloud. iCloud. And uh, nothing new under the sun, sabi ni King Solomon. But we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. All right? It's like saying we're, we're like in an aquarium. We're those fish and they're, we're being watched by people. Every move, every word that we say, every action or reaction, we are being observed, not just within the church, but especially outside of our families. What are the things that you post on Facebook? What are the, those things that you post or repost on your Instagram post? Are they things that unite the church? Or they are things that instigate hate, jealousy, so we are surrounded by a lot. We are surrounded by our boss. We are surrounded by our um, friends even. How we react, how we act, and how we react. We are being observed. Let's see what's next. I forgot. <laughs> In Philippians chapter 2, verse 3 to 4, these are all part of the closing challenge. By the way, the closing challenge is where I spend one hour. I'm, jokes. I'm joking. Do, not, do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of the others. How the world works 
Um, by the way, before ako kong nagpunta ng Qatar, uh, dec- <laughs> ang hirap sabihin ng decades, parang ang tanda na talaga, ano po. Decades ago, sige po, aminin na natin, decades ago, um, I also climbed the corporate ladder back in in Tigas, Makati, you know, all the cities there. And w- w- it, there's, there's, a, there's a culture, you know, dog-eat-dog, dog, you know, there's a dog-eat-dog dog culture. I don't know if it happens here, but it's a dog-eat-dog, dog, you know, you don't care. Just finish your job, do what you need to do, you don't care, you should not care, in fact, you, know, you have to, your own interest, so that you can be promoted, you can get more of your salary, more benefits and stuff. It's more me, 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 you know. This is how the world works. In fact, when you open up your social media account, it's all about me. You know, I don't care. I'm angry, you know, uh, and all that stuff. You know what I'm talking about? Because you probably all have your social media accounts too. And it's like, man, I wish I didn't really open an account in Facebook. <laughs> really? Diba, no? I was telling my son, probably a year or two, sabi ko, I wish I could go back in time and not create an account. Ah, you know, stick to email and text lang, you know, old school. But we can. We use social media like this, especially the ones who are listening the word of God through social media. It can also be used. Likewise, your life today is not like in an all like or dog eat dog. The word of the Lord says that to look after the interest of others. Others first. By any case, if Jesus was only looking after himself while he was on earth, we would not have any glimpse of hope. We would not have our salvation. But he thought of us first. That's why we have our salvation. That's why he died on the cross for you and me. So that we could have the gift, free gift of God's eternal life through Jesus. I will read to you in the Old Testament, it says in 1 Chronicles 4.10, ayan, not this one. But I'll read to you from um, my Bible, Jabez cried out to the Lord of Israel, that's in 1 Chronicles 4.10, Oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm so that I will be free from pain. And God granted his request. How do you overcome against the tide of the world so you can achieve unity and really put into practice your theme for the month of one God, one hope, one faith? Two weeks back, when I was in Alcor and I had the privilege to testify, I was sharing to the brothers there that we, when, by the time that we left in 2013, we were praying with the leaders that we could have an Araslafan QEC, uh, a QEC branch here and there, Mesaid. Um, you know, our, our, our heart was really to plant, plant, plant churches here and there. We were so busy. We were so busy, most likely we didn't have time for bashing other people. (laughs) We were so busy serving the Lord. We, uh, I'm saying this like a good and bad thing, you know, I'm just being honest. For the seven days in a week, my lifestyle was Friday church. That was truly a church day like, like today. And I only had one day off from serving the Lord. The rest of the five days, I was like Pastor Dave, Pastor Abner, and all the pastors. We had like each day we had, we were, we were doing Bible studies in different locations. You know, in Tagalog, we call it hataw. <laughs> there was just one day, no, parang may day off, no? And it, we were even ten- tempted to use that one day for another Bible study. But look at the mileage of our vehicles, guys. We had a very high mileage. One, two years pa lang, parang five years na ang tinapos. All because we were busy going here and there, planting churches, doing Bible studies. And I pray that that would still be the case for you guys 
here in QEC and in Alcor. Be so busy that you don't have time for disunity. Be so busy in the kingdom with the king. Ah, not just the kingdom. Ah. There was this, uh, what do you call this, uh, saying before, so busy in the kingdom but not to the king. But be so busy with the king in his kingdom every day that you do not have time for other things. You do not have time for, um, ano ba yung word natin ngayon? Chismis dati eh. How do you say that today? Marites, yeah, sorry. <laughs> you don't have time to marites. Pag may nagsabi sa'yo, uy, may kukwento ko sa'yo. No, 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 no. You know, we have a Bible study to go to. We have a prayer meeting. We're going to visit someone who is, ano, you know, and, uh, and so on. You don't have time for this unity. All you have is time for unity. Because you are not selfish and you look after the interest of others. I hope and pray that you will see that the opportunity that God gave you while you are here in Qatar, not just to make, not just to be a billionaire like Elon Musk, you know, or the Chinese version na Elon Musk. <laughs> not to just be financially rich, but to be rich in heaven. Isn't that what probably unity in the church should look like? A church and individuals who are after the interests of others. What, what, are in, what interests of others? Their salvation. Care. We can't just say, I care for you. Bye. No, you have to pursue. You have to pursue. Anong kailangan mo? You know? Sabi, kailangan ko po ng one million. Okay. Brother, kailangan daw ng one million. <laughs> diba? Oo. Oh, oh. You have to pursue each other. You have to... Um, ano sa Tagalog yung pursue? Sorry, hindi ako naging handa. Ah. You know? Parang manliligaw. Lagi nakabuntot. Yeah? Yung nililigawan mo pa sa... You know? Pagising mo, hello, good morning, hanggang sa pagtulog, ganun. You have to pursue each other. You have to... How are you? What can I do to you for you today? How can I pray for you, brother? How can I pray for you, sister? Hindi yung anong marites natin ngayon. It's not like that, alright? But each of you to the interests of others. Maybe today, maybe today we will not be capable. I'm not saying, I'm not putting a period. Maybe today we will not be capable of doing what the early churches did. Back in time, they were selling their condominiums, they were sell selling their townhouse, they were selling their lands, so that iipunin yon, lalagay sa harap, and i-divide. No? Sa division nung, ano, para ako rin, pengi po. <laughs> no. Maybe we cannot do that, but we can do many, many things in the interests of others. Bible study leaders. Unity in the body of Christ will also mean that you will be open to the calling of the Lord. Even if you're not here in the pulpit, you could be an encourager. You could be a prayer warrior. You could be serving the Lord in many ways that only you, can, even only you and the Lord can know. Be busy. When you are with your group of friends, start a Bible study, home prayer meeting. You know, ask the Lord. Ask the pastors for help. Pastor, how can I do this? How can I serve the Lord? This is my gift, and so on and so forth. You have biking groups, right? I would love to see your biking groups doing prayer time as well. Barbecue fellowships. Usong uso po yan dito. When you do barbecue, you talk to each other. Kamusta yung isa't isa? Invite non-believers. Balik ta rin natin, no? yung Arab culture. Invite them into your homes. Invite them into your parties. And when they see you praying and fellowshipping and singing to the Lord, wow, this is new. This is different. Remember the story before? In three days, no questions asked? This is a true story. When I came here in 2000, early 2000, 
uh, doon sa aking pong job, no? The time na ng prayer nila, yung sala, no? So, nag, uh, there was a call to prayer already. So, they started inside our office, kasi back, back in time, maliit pa yung office namin. Inside their ofi- our office, naglatag na sila nung kanilang uh, prayer mats. And then, syempre, I, I'm new in, ano, in their culture. I'm new in Qatar. New in everything. You know, I was, to- I was a total stranger. I said, okay, sorry, sorry, I'm gonna leave. No, no, no. My, my Arab boss told me, no, 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 don't leave. You stay here, you stay here. Ah, it's okay, you're gonna pray. So I, I don't wanna offend. <laughs> you know, I don't wanna offend. No, you stay here. So that you will see what we do, how we pray. See the difference? So again, in Philippians chapter 2, 3 to 4, it says that to do in the interest of others, think of others, in humility, value others above ourselves. That doesn't mean na magiging maliit ang tingin natin sa ating mga sarili. Iba yun. Iba yun. Alright? So therefore, ay, mali yung napindot ko. <laughs> Rescue. <laughs> Therefore, encourage one another and build one another up just as you are doing. It says in Roma, thank you. It says in Romans chapter 14, verse 9. Another verse in Ephesians chapter 4, same chapter, but verse 15, just fast forward. Let us therefore, like in conclusion, let us therefore make every effort to do what leads to peace and mutual edification. Instead, speaking the truth in love, we will grow to become, in every respect, the mature body of Him who is the head, that is Christ. So, in closing word, Christians, not just today, Christians are gentle, selfless, and prayerful. But why don't we make it personal? Say your name. Tim is gentle. Say your name. Let's begin. Ready? Go. Is gentle, selfless, and prayerful. Shall we stand up and close in prayer? Heavenly Father, we thank you for allowing us to be reminded by you by the work of the Holy Spirit to be humble to each other and not aggressive to each other, to endure each other, and to be selfless, to seek only the interests of others above our interests, to be prayerful, to make every opportunity, to be good, to be kind, to honor each other, Thank you, Father, for allowing us to um, listen to your words today, to be united, to really live the life of having one God with one hope and one faith and to put them all into action so that the witnesses, the people who are are observing us would know that we have one God, we have one hope, and Our one faith is alive and in action. Father, we thank you for the opportunities that you give all of us here and that knowing, Lord, that you have better plans, that your plan supersedes ours. Help us, Lord, to be able to live the life that you want us to, to serve you and to serve others. Father, may it be true in our Christian life from today. So we praise you and we honor you in Jesus' name.